Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Boris. I'm here to show you about my stock account and today's market updates. Today, the net asset of my account became seventy-two thousand nine hundred ninety-four point four nine. Today, United Natural Gas closed lower to six point nine five, and SQQ also closed lower to three point one six percent. The market showed generally a rebound from last week's close, and there are a few trades that I would like to make. Um, some shorts and、um, some longs in the short term, and let's take a look at the market. Dow Jones Industrial Average closed up zero one point five eight percent, and Nasdaq Composite closed up one point one six percent, and S and P five hundred closed up one point two zero percent. Today, the internet content industry closed with a lead, and the auto manufacturers closed down two point seven five percent. As Tesla led with a loss of seven four point seven nine percent. Today, in general, the tech industries performed well.、Um, Amazon closed up three point eight nine percent. Microsoft closed up 2.27 percent, and、um, Meta and Uber all closed up with a gain of more than two percent. So right now, the market is mainly focusing on the Fed meeting and the Apple's earnings.、Um, this week. The market is going to focus on Apple's earnings that is going to be released on Thursday. The Fed results that's go also going to be released around that time,、um, and then U.S. non-farm payrolls for October. The financial services company SoFi Technologies reported strong revenue growth in its fiscal third quarter and raised its full-year outlook.、Um, Apple, which has which Is the biggest component of S and P 500 is now down 15 percent from its 52 week peak in a pullback territory. U.S. stocks overall fell、um, by a pretty big margin last week. The Dow Jones fell 2.14 percent in the week, while Nasdaq fell 2.62 percent.、Um, on Monday. The ten-year Treasury yield rose 3.4 basis points to 4.879.、Um, so it has strengthened like investors' sentiment that the high interest rate are going to be high up there and for longer, and it's going to deteriorate the market performance,、uh, especially the capital markets, and as、um, The supply for bond continue to increase, and the price keep dropping for bond. The S and P 500 fell 2.53 last week. It has down 10.6 percent from the year's high, and the index has fallen 4 percent so far in October, and is likely to post its first consecutive three months decline since the outbreak in 2020. The surge in the interest rate was the main culprit for the correction in the U.S. stocks. Was the investors want the Fed to signal ending the cycle soon, while traders expect the Fed to end its move in at least 2023? According to the、um, signals given by the Fed recently,、mm, there is a rather、um, ex expectations for a dovish view in the. Fed, however,、um, the Fed may may also change its wording, saying that it may want to observe the market performance and the effect of the monetary policy for a little longer before it、um, drop interest rate. But one thing to be happy to see is that the Fed may there's a high likelihood to stop raising interest rate. And keep the current federal funds rate at 5.25 percent to 5.5 percent right now. Um, 
the chances of a rebound in the U.S. stocks in the fourth quarter fell sharply as the narrowing of the market, lowering earnings forecast, and lower consumer and business confidence have questioned expectations of a rebound before the end of the year. The biggest question for the Fed right now is whether the consumers will kept cut will be cut back or continue spending. Um, the effect of raising interest rates definitely have some lag before it makes an effect on the U.S. economy. And uh, meanwhile, um, this uh, interest rate decision may um may affect the 2024 presidential election when the Fed um wants to cut interest rates before then. At this time, um, the other uh, global central banks are also meeting and releasing its economic data this week. At the same time, the investors' um, October non-farm payroll data will be released um, on Friday. Um, in terms of overseas economic data, Germany's preliminary GDP fell 0.1% in the third quarter from the previous 0.2% forecast. Um, according to sluggish household spending, the high interest rate in Germany is the main uh, cause for this GDP hurting, with the hurting demand for industrial goods and the momentum in the services sector slowed, leading to a further contraction in output in the third quarter, in addition to the inflation that is experiencing right now. This is all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next episode.